Hello guys, is you here? How are you doing? I hope that you are all doing well. In this video, I want to discuss the difference between Kazuha Elemental Damage Buff versus Sucrose Elemental Mastery Buff. So, which one do you think is better? Let's watch the video until the end to find out. For this test, we will be using Xiangling, and this is my Xiangling's detail. Her elemental mastery value is at 179, which translates to increased damage to melt by 31.6%. And her final pyro damage bonus will be 61.6%, which is the base, plus the 7.5%, Bonus from 4-piece Crimson Set, which equals to 69.1%. Next, I will show you my Kazuha's detail with EM value of 885. And this means that the buff is going to be 0 0.04 times 885 elemental mastery value which translates to 35.4% elemental damage bonus. So, Xiangling Pyro damage bonus will be 69.1% plus 35.4%, which is 104.5%. Now, this is my sucrose with elemental mastery or EM value of 884. And so, the buff from her will be from Catalyst Conversion, which is 50 Elemental Mastery. And then you add up from the 20% of 884. And this amounts to a total of 226.8 Elemental Mastery. So, Xiangling EM value will be 179 plus 226.8 which is about 406 after it's been rounded up. And this translates to increased damage to melt by about 62.5%. This is about 30.9% increase from the original 31.6%. Now, we'll move on to the testing phase. The testing ground will be this Golden Apple Challenge Anti-Colossus Silver Bullet. First, we will measure Xiangling's Guoba's second breath of fire damage as Guoba will reduce the pyro rest of enemy with the first breath. This is the effect of Xiangling Constellation 1. Before we check the damage, I will eat the 20% crit rate food buff to help with the testing. Before we look at the damage, we go and see the stats first. Pyro damage bonus 69.1% and elemental mastery 179. So the damage without elemental reaction is 9576. Next, we will measure the damage of her melt reaction. So the melt reaction damage prior to buff is 28,069, 28069. Now, we will measure her damage with Kazuha Elemental Damage Bonus Buff. After the buff, Xiangling's EM stays at 179, while her Pyro Damage Bonus becomes 104.5. There is an increase of 35.4%. Now, let's proceed to measure her non-reaction damage and her melt reaction damage. So Xiangling's damage without elemental reaction is 13,841, 13,841. Now, we will measure the damage of her melt reaction. So, the damage is 40,569, 40,569. Comparing with her base damage, there is an increase in damage in both instances by about 44.5%. Please bear in mind, the buff that Kazuha brings is actually plus 35.4% pyro damage bonus. This is to be expected 
because there is a 4 piece free defense veneer set bonus that reduces enemy rest value. Now, we will measure Xiangling's damage with Sucrose's EM buff. After buff, Xiangling's EM becomes 406, which translates to increased damage to melt by about 62.5%, while her pyro damage bonus remains unaffected and stays at 69.1%. Now, let's take a look at the damage. The damage without elemental reaction is 11,445. This is to be expected because the increase in damage is from the Furiosin's Veneerer 4 piece set bonus that reduces enemy rest value. Now, let's take a look at her melt reaction damage. We verify again EM 406. The damage of her melt reaction is 40,631. 40,631. Comparing with her base damage, there is an increase in damage by about 19.5% for non-reaction. This is caused by the Freedison Veneerer 4 piece set bonus that reduces enemy rest value. While there is an increase of about 44.75% damage for Xiangling's melt reaction when buffed by Sucrose. So let's take a look at the data and put them side by side for a better comparison. For non-react, Kazuha buff provides damage increase of 44.5%, while Sucrose only provides damage increase 19.5%. For Sucrose, this damage increase is from the Free Dozen Veneerer 4 piece set bonus that reduces enemy resistance value. But in terms of damage, there is no damage addition at all because there is no elemental reaction. For the melt react, Kazuha buff provides the same damage increase of about 44.5%, while Sucrose provides 44.75% damage increase, slightly more than Kazuha, but this difference is negligible. Okay. So, Kazuha buff provides consistent damage boost regardless of elemental reaction or not, which is to be expected as the buff is in the form of pyro damage bonus, while Sucrose's buff only boosts the elemental reaction damage as the buff is in the form of EM or elemental mastery. And this is the fundamental difference between the two types of buffs. Before we decide which is the better buff, I want to bring up another matter that is diminishing return effect. As we all know, the EM value has to be converted through a certain formula that at the end of it all, it gives this percentage that can be found on this table. So at higher EM value, the increment per one EM value becomes less. So it becomes more difficult to increase the damage caused by melt per EM value. At this moment, Xiangling's EM value initially is relatively low at 179. This makes the EM buff from Sucrose valuable and powerful as the diminishing return effect is not really felt. But it will be a different story if Xiangling were to have a higher EM base value of about say 400, which I think is quite achievable. Unfortunately, I don't have the right pieces of artifact to do damage test. So, I will use other artifacts to boost Xiangling EM base value to about 400. At that point, we will see how much percentage increment can Sucrose's EM buff brings to Xiangling. After changing artifacts, Xiangling EM value becomes 408 and it translates to about 62.7% damage increase to melt reaction. So, after buff, Xiangling EM will become about 635. And this means 86.7% damage increase to melt reaction. Initially, at 179 EM value, the EM will be buffed to 406. So, it will be 62.5% minus 31.6%. 
and we can see that there's an increase of 30.9% to melt damage. At 408 EM value, however, the EM will be buffed to 635, which means 86.7% minus 62.7%. Therefore, only 24% damage increase to melt. As you can see, the damage increase to melt is less by 6.9%. For Kazuha Belt, however, this is not the case. It will stay the same at about 35.4% regardless of Xiangling's initial pyro damage bonus. For as long as Kazuha EM value stays the same. So, after knowing all of this, in conclusion, in my personal opinion, Kazuha's buff is better than Sucrose's due to the fact that firstly, it boosts the elemental damage bonus stat, which provides a consistent damage increase at all times. Secondly, Sucrose's EM buff only enjoyed during elemental reactions. And thirdly, Sucrose's EM buff becomes weaker at higher EM value due to diminishing return effect. While Kazuha buff remains constant, regardless of Xiangling's initial pyro damage value. This, however, does not mean that Sucrose's buff is not good. She will still remain as a valuable asset to players. In fact, we will be using both Kazuha and Sucrose when attempting the Spiral Abyss, as we will need two teams. So, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you like this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!